If Diddy was looking forward to a calm 2024, he's in for a shock. Rumor has it he tried to mess with Jamie Foxx last year after Jamie declined his extravagant invites. Recall last April when news broke of Jamie Foxx being rushed to the hospital. His family kept the reasons under wraps, sparking widespread speculation. Turns out, the rumors pointed to Diddy, though it's all alleged, of course. It's well known that Jamie Foxx has been a staple at Diddy's notoriously wild parties for years, right? Recently, he revealed some shocking details about what really goes on behind the closed doors at Diddy's opulent events. He exposed the truth about wild pool parties, lavish spending, substance use, and some questionable activities that have left everyone stunned. For those tuned into the gossip, you'd know Diddy's parties are the stuff of legend. But it's not just about shattered champagne glasses and dance floor antics. There's more, much more. Rumors are swirling about private meetings with secret groups, including famous male rappers, and alarmingly, allegations involving underage attendees. Pause for a moment and consider how wild that sounds. Think about it. If the devil can wield him as a tool, then believe God can wield me just as fiercely every single day. The saga surrounding Diddy just escalates. Just when you think it couldn't amplify, Cat Williams steps in with hefty allegations against Diddy. Whispers suggest Diddy had some sinister plans for Jamie Foxx, and then, then Puffy showed up, repeating, Take that, 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 take that. There's chatter that Jamie knows some compelling secrets about Diddy's unrestrained parties. An old video has surfaced where Jamie claims Diddy confronted him for leaking secrets about Diddy's then-girlfriend, Jennifer Lopez. And honestly, I couldn't grasp all he was saying. You know, Puffy, his speech isn't the clearest. Well, I didn't quite appreciate all that. However, Jamie Foxx hasn't held back about his experiences at Diddy's gatherings. He's openly shared stories of the wild scenes he's witnessed, even capturing some on video. Puffy, over here, over here. Oh, my bad, my bad. He's just got too much juice in his throat, I think. While the party raged on, Cat Williams was elsewhere, gathering intel. Recall Jamie's significant health scare last year? It happened just months before Cassie filed a bombshell lawsuit against Diddy, according to a recent Instagram update from his daughter Karen. The Hollywood elite is recuperating from a recent medical complication. Now it's rumored that Diddy may have played a role in Jamie's health issues, and Cat is poised to divulge how Jamie nearly lost his life. They say it's all juicy gossip. D, your mouth's got too much juice, trying to swallow all that info. It appears the controversies that have trailed Diddy since the 90s are finally catching up. The allegations are grave, and if there's any merit to them, Diddy's actions could be viewed as far more egregious than previously thought. So, how do I handle it? I'd show up to these infamous parties in my humble town car, blend in, grab my town so I can make a swift exit. But hey, we're talking about Diddy, famous for decades, allegedly entangled in all sorts of wild escapades. No wonder his parties are on a whole different level of wild. Yet, it's not only the outrageous parties stirring the pot. Diddy has also been making headlines for some seriously troubling situations, like his recent fallout with his ex-girlfriend Cassie and her lawsuit. That lawsuit truly flung open a Pandora's box for Diddy. Cassie's legal action against him stirred significant turmoil, unveiling a complete and utter mess. Revelations surfaced that Diddy had an interest in male escorts, a detail Cassie was unreserved about. She disclosed the gritty specifics of some shockingly wild escapades. It was like releasing a swarm of troubles, and it wasn't the benign sort. Cassie alleged that Diddy would not only bring these male escorts to their gatherings, but would also involve her in intimate encounters, making her more than just an observer in these orchestrated scenarios he dubbed freak offs. Here's where it gets particularly salacious. Cassie accused Diddy of recording these sessions, mirroring Jamie Foxx's comments about the unchecked wildness he witnessed at Diddy's parties. The rumor mill churns out tales of Diddy manipulating young artists at these events, coercing them into questionable activities, with Jamie Foxx as an unwilling spectator. Jamie was once a regular before he fell severely ill, a turn of events that almost cost him his life, and he has often alluded to the untold stories of debauchery that pervaded those parties. The key to his attendance? Puff, yo, you got to let me film this. We need to document this madness. Playboy, it's all about Puff. Before we delve deeper into Jamie's shocking revelations, let's consider the accusations against Diddy of pressuring participants into these freak-offs. 
losing his temper when they resisted. Back in 2013, federal authorities took a keen interest in Diddy's dealings, especially his interactions with young males. The fact that such scrutiny ended abruptly raises eyebrows about Diddy's influence. Moreover, whispers abound that Diddy might have influenced the federal investigation's cessation. This adds another layer to Diddy's former artist Mace's narrative. Mays insinuated that Diddy coerced him into these scandalous encounters during his time at Bad Boy Records. This pressure reportedly ignited Mace's feud with Diddy, propelling him to abandon the label and turn towards a spiritual path as a pastor. Observers speculate that witnessing such scenes at Diddy's parties clashed with his moral compass, prompting his drastic lifestyle change. The industry often drives its artists towards spiritual solace, particularly when it becomes too shadowy. Mace's spiritual awakening seems driven by the dark experiences he endured, steering him towards a path of faith. But the story doesn't end with his departure from Bad Boy Records. The street talks. Mays allegedly left without payment. No cash. No checks. Just silence. And if that wasn't enough, Diddy is accused of tarnishing Mace's reputation, effectively blacklisting him. One album. And he turned into a so-called pastor, conning people and y'all let him smear God's name. The rumor goes that Diddy actively spread these defamatory remarks, complicating Jamie's attempts to find new label partnerships. This questionable situation has prompted Jamie to step forward and disclose the secrets he's kept for years. In a recent interview, he condemned those who've schemed to tarnish his reputation over the years, hinting that the reality of Diddy's parties far exceeds public knowledge. So I'd show up at the party in my modest town car, ready to capture everything on my cannon. Yo, what's up, playboy? You talking about this? I need to get this on film, man. Yet, these allegations against Diddy are hardly novel. For years, there's been talk of his detrimental actions towards his girlfriend, Kim Porter, and even allegations involving her former partner. The narrative thickens as both found themselves entangled in precarious situations, struggling for survival. Given the past incidents like Ashby and Jamie Foxx's hospital visits, neither of which were publicly explained, there's rampant speculation these cases might be interconnected, linked by the secrets they held about Diddy's supposed crimes. Reflecting on Jamie Foxx's historical ties with Diddy following his hospital release, Jamie's cryptic social media post suggested betrayal and looming threats, further fueling speculation about the dark tales circling Diddy. So, what are your thoughts on these entangled tales of secrecy and scandal? Don't forget to weigh in with your comments below.